Hello, my name is Ignacio Taboada. I am professor of physics at the Georgia Institute of Technology, and I am a member of the IceCube collaboration. Today, I will tell you about the observation in neutrinos by IceCube of the nearby galaxy NG 1068. In brief, we have seen approximately 80 neutrinos that we have collected from the year 2011 through the year uh, 2020 uh, using IceCube. This map that you see on the left, top left, is a map of the northern sky. Ice cube, even though it, it is at the South Pole, its best view of the sky is in the northern sky. That is because neutrinos have no problem going through the planet, being neutrinos, very weakly interacting uh, particles. In this map of the sky, a region near NG1068 has been highlighted, and you can see the zoom in here on the right. The location of NG1068 is highlighted by the red dot, and this is a map of the local p-value, how likely it is that a neutrino source has been identified using the statistical methods by IceCube. Once all the statistical trials have been taken into account, the global significance for this observation is 4.2 sigma. NG1068 is an active galaxy. This means that it has a supermassive black hole at its center. That is actually true of every single large galaxy. What distinguishes the supermassive black hole at NG1068 from ours is that the NG1068 supermassive black hole is being fed material rapidly via an accretion disk. And there's all sort of high energy activity, including the production of neutrinos near that supermassive black hole. The supermassive black hole of NGST 68 is one of such that it is obscured by torus of material. So it is impossible with light to have a direct view of the supermassive black hole at the center of NGST 68. However, neutrinos, because they interact so weakly, can escape no problem and give us an unimpeded view of the center of the galaxy. IceCube is the largest neutrino detector in the world. Um, it uses deep glacial ice between about one and a half kilometers and two and a half kilometers of depth as the detection medium for neutrinos. In particular, we see neutrinos as flashes of blue light chunk of radiation to be more specific. And the neutrino direction is somewhat uncertain to about 0.1 to 2 degrees, which is what makes one of the things that makes neutrino detection of, of astrophysical objects uh, challenging. Here in the right, you have a depiction of the over 5,000 optical sensors that comprise Ice Cube. Um, each one of the circles that has a color is an optical sensor that has seen a little bit of this uh, chunk of radiation. And the color of the circle indicates the time. These are the early times. These are the late times. So it is very clear that you have a particle that is traversing from the left side of the screen to the right side of the screen. And this neutrino in particular that I'm showing, it is po is pointing in the direction of NGC 1068. Why is this observation important? Well. Um, first is that, again, the black hole appears to be obscured. And this is actually consistent with another ice cube discovery, which is the all-sky flux of uh, extragalactic neutrinos. This is an entirely new uh, lightning presentation, but you do expect that the typical source that is extragalactic and produces neutrinos to be opaque to light or obscured uh, to light. Only neutrinos can escape. The other reason is that this is the second point source that has been seen by IceCube. There's another prior observation, and that was reported in 2018, and this was also an active galaxy. That object was transient. We, we saw it flaring, and it may be that it never repeats again. And one thing that is really fun about NGC 1068 is that it appears to be steady. So as we keep piling up data, we should be seeing more neutrinos from NGC 1068. And finally, it appears that active galaxies are a major component of the all-sky astrophysical neutrino flux. And I want to thank you very much for your attention.